guys. We had such an amazing time in Europe and I'm so excited to tell you about it. Hey guys, we're in Switzerland. We just got to Europe today and we are so tired because we hardly slept in the plane over. It was like an overnight hours, flight. Maybe. Oh my gosh, it was so uncomfortable. Whoever made that plane hates people. I'm sure of it, <laughs> but. On Swiss Airlines, they give you chocolate and wine for free. We explored, of course, and saw these fun little escalators at the mall. We went to change our cash. We didn't go to the mall to go shopping. But this lady had these really weird shoes too, so we took a picture. We were just obsessed with the architecture around Europe. Like, oh my word, that was our favorite part, was just walking around and seeing the tall, skinny buildings and the cobblestone streets, and it was just so different than anything here in America. I'm just obsessed with these trees. They're so cool. So we got to stop at the UN and see the flags and the UN building and this three-legged chair. I don't know if it was meant to be that way or not, but it is. So this is a monument to uh, John Calvin and the Protestant Reformation. And this year, uh, 2017, is the 500th anniversary of the Reformation. Man, they all have a beard but me. And then that night we drove into France um, to our Airbnb because Geneva, Switzerland is like right on the border of France. But Airbnbs outside of Switzerland are like $40 a night cheaper because Switzerland's so expensive. So we went across the border and stayed in this beautiful Airbnb in France. And this is our first Airbnb on our trip. <laughs> Check out this view. I'm not even kidding. This is for real. So it's the little things about other countries that I find so fascinating, like how their light switches actually switch um, down to go on. Who knew? Every toilet I've seen here, it's like peeing when the lid was left up. Not comfortable. So notice that before turning green, the lights turn yellow first. Check it. What? Crazy sauce! And we are off day two, driving to Lyon, France, which is the food capital of France. Yes. Hey, sweetie, do that, do that thing that makes you sound French. Oh, oui, oui. Oh, it makes me feel so French. So on our way to Lyon, France, we decided to stop at Perugia, however you say it. It's like a medieval town that I think was built in the 12 or 1300s, and people still live there to this day. So we're exploring this old town and it is just like magical. <laughs> it's medieval and there's my husband. <laughs> and it ended up being one of my favorite stops of our whole trip. All the crazy drivers. This one guy There's flies. Them. This one guy flies by. He's like, "Oh, Robert, you're going very fast." <laughs> oh man, Suzette in the Audi behind us. It looks like she wants to take our bumper on a date. She is riding that close. So these green crosses are for pharmacies, and then the lines you see in the air are for the electric trams or trains or trolleys. One of my favorite parts of this trip was all the cafes. Like they were all delicious, they were so cute, and they had great coffee. We are in Lyon, France at a little, I think it's called Bouchon. It's like yes. these little cafes, my husband says yes. Um, these little cafes with French food we're eating at. So we've got some rosé wine from France, and then mine is like some kind of cheese salad, and James has pig nose salad. Crazy. That is James's like liver cake, and then my sausage, I forget what it was called, fancy sausage and potato stuff. And then this one is, what is it? I have no idea. Coco Patone or something? Like coconut sure. pineapples sure. taste like? Mm -hmm. and then mine is soft cheese with jam. So there are these things called tribulings, I think, that are think so. um, hidden passageways all over different parts of Lyon. I guess people used to use them for like silk trading or something, and then they became hidden passageways, so we're looking for them.
here. I'm gonna take you peeking out of this one. We just walked up all these stairs to get to the Basilica. It's further than you can see. This was a beautiful view of Lyon, France from up high up by the Basilica, which we had to walk a very long ways up a lot of stairs and hills to get to. I loved seeing some of the old churches in Europe. We didn't stop at a lot of them, but the ones we did were all just so beautiful and intricate and just majestic. I love that. And when you find a random elliptical on the side of the road in France, this is what you do. Hello again and good morning. Today we are headed to Chabonnet, France to hike on Mount Blanc. We are going to go to that glacier and see the ice caves as well, but the ice caves are closed right now. They're re-scraping them out. Apparently ice caves melt, so. The glacier moves every year, so they have to like re-carve out the ice caves. That's what it said online. Well, we're here in a quintessential ski town of Chamonix. Once again, the cafes and the architecture were just breathtaking. I just wanted to get lost in all the streets of these cities. So then we rode the Aguille du Midi or something like that. It's kind of like the spinicular. It's like a little car that you ride that takes you up the mountain. It was like a 30 minute ride. And I think we were going 30 miles an hour the whole time because we started around sea level and I'm pretty sure we ended up at like 12,000 feet high. I could be remembering wrong though. We are about to take this elevator into the void called Stepping Crazy. Into the Void. It's basically Crazy. gonna be like we are standing in a glass room on a glass floor in the Alps. How do you do that with your tongue? Practice. Thank you, have a good Thank day. Thank you. James and I both got a little bit of like altitude, dizziness, shortness of breath kind of thing. But it was so cool to take this up and then get to be on the top of the mountain where it was freezing cold and explore and see a little bit. We'd really hoped to hike from here to the glaciers, but that trail was closed, which was very sad. Then we got to have some more fantastic food. I had a macaroon, which was delicious. And then we went to this place and James got this rabbit. Stuff. You can't really see the rabbit meat in the picture, but it was absolutely phenomenal. Like, oh my goodness, the food we had while we were traveling was so good. So another change in plans. Apparently the trail we wanted to go on is closed due to snow <laughs> in May. We are in the Alps. We're hiking in the Alps right now. That's crazy. So we hiked up to the start of our trail and we're just gonna go until there's snow and then turn around. So fun. If you can even call this hiking. It's more like a walk with a view. Although the way up was pretty steep. Okay. We were reading about on Mount Blanc, the crazy things people have done there. Oh, it's nuts. Like, we saw a guy skiing with a... With, like a parachute. With a parachute. Pretty much. And he would like, when there were rocks, he would pick up his skis and release his parachute and fly over the rocks and then start skiing again. Yeah, and some people just straight up ski down the mountain, which is crazy. Which is crazy. So now we are in our second Airbnb for this third night, and it is in St. Bernard by Chamonix by Mont Blanc. This is so cute. We're staying in a chalet. Oh, chalet. I've dreamed of this my whole life. Hmm. Oops, just ran my head into a tree. What will my future be? I wonder. You can do it. Actually rolling. Of course it is. Oh. Well, we just got in a very, very tiny fender bender.